But hey guys, I'm Will from the Users today, and today we have a very special video. We haven't had a lot of videos out, so uh, it's kind of a cool one to get back into with. Um, so if you guys don't know, I'm making my own gaming rig right now um, for completing my Eagle Scout project, or uh, um, rank, um, rather, and uh, my gift um, for years of having to do this is to get my own gaming rig, um, a very nice one, and I'm going to have a video going out about actually making the rig and stuff like that, but the first part just came in, which is a very nice part, and it is my keyboard, and everything else to come into tomorrow, but I'm going to give you guys an unboxing video for all of these who kind of want to see it, if you're subscribed, just kind of say, hey, that's kind of cool, and of course, if you ever want to get this, so right now I have the Logitech gaming keyboard, the G510 um, series, and it's very nice, um, it's about $120, so um, you might think that's a lot for a keyboard, but um, once you get into seeing what's in here, it's pretty nice. Uh, so I haven't actually looked at it at all, I have simply just seen it online and seen videos, I haven't actually seen it in person, so I've already cut everything open just because, I mean, that I haven't opened anything, I've just cut it open just so I can get in here easier. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So, just on first glance, it has the case, or the box, like most things do. Then it comes in a little nice little cardboard box type thing. You guys are going to love this. Okay. So here we have the keyboard, it appears. So we're just going to lightly remove it. Here's the keyboard itself. I'm not sure you can see that very well. And of course, the amazing USB cord that goes with it. So, really, that's all that's come with it. It's just the uh, keyboard and the cord that goes to it. It's actually from, I've heard and now I'm seeing, it's a very long cord. Uh, like eight feet or something like that. And so then it comes right over here. It has a few manuals. The getting started manual. The getting to know manual. The uh, important information. And uh, just kind of saying we want to get feedback. So uh, that's cute. And then we also have as we do with most gaming parts, we have a CD-ROM that basically is probably going to tell me how to do everything, so uh, that's that's actually probably important. I'll probably look at that a little bit later. Um, okay, yeah, then it flips up, and actually, this is kind of cool, there's this thing, which I think, from what I've heard, is something you can put on the bottom of the keyboard, and it's kind of like a wrist rest. Um, so that's, uh, pretty cool, actually, and it's removable, obviously, so. Alright, so we are going to get inside of the keyboard. So it's already, oh man, this is looking slick. Oh, yes. Nice. So, on first glance, very nice, um, has a nice little LED screen right up there um, that can change different colors as well as the backlit on the keys. Um, so this is kind of cool because this is what I'm going to be using for years um, in my gaming life. So this is actually really kind of a fun experience for me. Um, now as you can see, um, this might be a little bit bigger. A lot of times you think normal keyboards cut off about right here, but over here You'll notice all these keys, I'm not sure if you can read it, but it has um, G's on it. Um, it's like G1, G2, G3. And these are programmable keys that um, basically you can program to do different things and open different windows and stuff like that. So without having to like search for stuff, like I, I, I don't know much about it, and I'm probably going to sound like an idiot saying this, but I'm pretty sure you can like open different websites and stuff with them, and different like games and stuff. Um, be like, Minecraft, boom, and then you're in there. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly that works, but... It's a pretty sweet feature. The LED screen is, of course, also pretty sweet. Um, 
nice. It also has a headphone and microphone jack right there. The uh, the red is the microphone and the blue is a headphone. And I'm thinking maybe the headphone, um, that's kind of your like, audio output. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to plug it into your computer entirely. You can just uh, have it right there. So I haven't actually looked here at it myself. I've just you guys have gotten a better look than I have right away. Um, yeah, there's a few little things on top of it. Uh, appears you can change screens. Uh, how? <laughs> I'm just having to type on it because it's pretty cool. Oh, also, as a lot of these kind of keyboards do, it has a little pop-up. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. You, these little things that pop up to, like, uh, make it, like, kind of lift or whatever. As I lifted this one up, it, uh, a sticker just, like, got stuck on there. Like, it was just right there, and it just happened to get on me. It's pretty funny. Um, so, yeah, looking, uh, as well, um, this is pretty sweet, actually. Um, okay. Yes, there's lots of different things on here that I just... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over here on the camera. So I'm just going to bring the camera over here. And I'm going to kind of show you everything, okay? So here's kind of an overview of what you're seeing, okay? Right? Um, so your LED screen right there, of course, as we've said. Now, I'm pretty sure these buttons will change from the different modes. So you can set different modes and basically have different things to do each mode. I still have to learn. I still have to read the CD-ROMs and all that stuff. But that's just what I know for right now. Um, right here, uh, right, it's kind of weird, right here, um, is you see these microphone and headphone things, I guess, to mute it. So you can mute your earphones and you can mute your microphone. Now, supposedly there's different things. Uh, I think I heard about this. Is that sometimes you might hit the Windows key right here um, while you're playing, and you can actually turn that. Off. You can turn this onto this uh, keyboard onto gaming mode or onto non-gaming mode. So it just kind of switches over and off. Um, of course, here are the programmable keys that we saw before. Um, that's pretty sweet. Uh, there's 16 or 18 of them actually. So that's quite a lot. Of, so a lot of things you can do with that. I guess some brightness uh, settings or whatever. Uh, there's it looks like there's a play, a pause, uh, stuff like that for I guess for videos and stuff. Um, a nice little mute button. Uh, I'm guessing this might be volume. Uh, that would actually make the most sense. It would be. It might be a nice little scroll wheel, but if you're gonna have your mouse, I imagine that the scroll wheel is. A, I mean, you're gonna have one on your mouse, so I imagine that's probably the volume. And then of course your normal keys like you normally have. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so you have, uh, as far as the keyboard, how it feels. Um, the the keys are very rounded off, and actually has a nice feel to it. Um, hi, how? are you. Um, so that's pretty sweet. It's not glossy necessarily, it's more of the whatever the other kind of black is called, uh, but it's still pretty sweet. Uh, nice little Logitech logo down here. Again, here's the USB cord, and it has a little protective thing on it right now, I guess, to protect it. Um, as far as the rest on the back, I don't see anything right now. Um, so really, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to tell you guys. Um, just kind of like a head, like right in front of me, what I'm thinking right now. This is actually a pretty nice keyboard, um, and I, I I really like it. So um, I think now what I'm gonna do is plug it into a computer. So we're gonna have to see how that works, and I'll have to show you kind of the different things. Um, but, I mean, other than that, that was the main unboxing. Continue on if you would like to see the actual other stuff and not see me rambling. So we'll be back. Hey, guys, I'm back, and it's a little dark in here, but why? ba bum bum ba -dum. We have backlit lighting on here. As you can see, I'm using a MacBook, <laughs> which, um...
honestly, this is what I've been using for the past few times, but it's time for me to upgrade. It's not that Macs are bad, it's just that the Mac that I have is not suited for what I want to do. So, um, I have it hooked up to this or whatever, and this is what it is. This is the backlit, even the G510 has a backlit on it, and of course, the monitor, which it's freaking out and it's saying it's way too bright. Um, but it does say G510 on there, just all, that's all it says, it's kind of greenish. So, um, I think we're on the main setting. I'm trying to figure out, uh, how to change settings. Um, ah, see, I just turned it off, turned the power off, and then I turned it back on, which is right here, off and on. So that's pretty nice. Um, and let's see. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to change the uh, settings on it because I don't really know. I'm going to assume it might be that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to type in some stuff. It's actually, for some reason, I feel like the reaction time is very high. Um, it travels very fast or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just in kind of like YouTube or whatever. Um, hmm. Well, that's kind of interesting. I'd like to learn how to change my colors. Hey, check out this, too. This is the, the rest. Yeah, this is the rest. Um, this is where you rest your wrist and stuff. It's actually, I didn't think I would really care for it, but actually it's kind of nice, and uh, it's a nice little rest. So, uh, just another cool feature. Alright guys, so it turns out that you have to use the software, um, the little CD-ROM that I showed you earlier, in order to uh, basically program all this stuff to do anything. Um, so rather than having to go through there and do that, um, that's going to end it for my tutorial, or not tutorial, my unboxing review. Um, now, if you guys are kind of mad, you're like, oh, well, I won't get to see the thing, well, I'm going to wait until... Um, uh, all, all my stuff is all put together uh, because, you know, I want to be able to use the CD-ROM on there and stuff like that. And I, I don't know, it's just, just a bunch of stuff. And I, I want to kind of wait until I get my computer all set. So whenever I do my full gaming review, you guys will see this again. I'm going to do some other tutorials. Ah, I got it with the tutorials again. I'm going to do some more uh, unboxings later as stuff starts to come in tomorrow. <laughs> Um, probably my mouse. Um, so look out for that tomorrow, and I will see you guys next time on the users. Bye bye.